Welcome back everybody. Today I want to do something a little bit different. We're going to look at one of the At Games Blast consoles. This is the one that has Space Invaders, apparently also featuring Burger Time. I remember when these came out, a lot of people were talking about them. I think they launched for $20. Uh, and then there was this big controversy about how they had advertised that the Pac-Man one would have like the arcade ROMs. And then when it released, it actually had the NES versions. And it was this big to do. I remember John Hancock covering it. I remember Mad Little Pixel doing videos about it. I never had the greatest opinion of At Games Blast, or really At Games. I remember shortly after they came out, I went to Walmart and there was a big end cap full of a whole bunch of them on clearance. And I think they were like $7 or something like that. And they had the Pong one that had the paddle controller. So I picked one up because at that time I didn't really have any classic consoles. I don't even know if I had any consoles at that time. I might have... I might have had uh, my Xbox One. Actually, I probably had my Xbox One. And actually, now I think of it, I probably had one of the At Games Genesis little console things. But I saw the Pong Blast that had the paddles and I, it's been a long, it had been a long time at that point since I had played paddle games. I thought that was really neat. I figured for seven bucks, why not? How bad can it be? <laughs> I brought it home, I set it up, I played it once, and then I decided that I wanted to move which HDMI port it was plugged into on my television, <laughs> and I decided to, and it's just like a little stick, let's have a picture of it, oh yeah, it, it, it's got this uh, little stick that plugs into your HDMI port. I went to go pull the little stick out of the back, and the thing just fell apart in my hands. <laughs> <laughs> like it just came apart uh, part of it was still in the television and the rest of it was in my hand like the case and it I mean it, it was the craziest thing and I couldn't get back together and quite frankly I, maybe I could have had I been more patient but I was so mad that I'd only used it for like five minutes and then I was just simply trying to move to a different HDMI port and it it, it fell apart that I, I smashed the rest of it <laughs> I was very upset so I have a very very uh, negative view of this product. So on Christmas, I had to work. My friend Nick Cochran, who well, I'll put a picture in, I guess, uh, he decided to come and drop off the gifts he had gotten for me while I was at work, which is very nice. He's a cool dude. And he gave me my gifts, and then before he left, he said, hey, I have one more gift in my trunk uh, that I bought for someone just in case I needed a gift and didn't have something to give, you know, somebody I forgot or just needed an extra gift. And he didn't have anyone to give it to, so he asked me if I wanted it, and he showed me it was this. And I was like, you know what? Sure. I, I can make a video about that. <laughs> I don't know how much he paid for it. I can't imagine it was a lot. If it's something that he bought extra just to have an extra gift in case he needed it, I'm assuming it couldn't have been very much. He, he ripped off the label here. All I can see is a 99 but it uh, couldn't have been very much. I know that shortly after they released and I saw them on clearance, they were like $7, and this was years ago. I don't remember exactly what year this launched. I can't say a year, I don't know, but we're gonna do an unboxing. We'll see what's inside the package, um, and then we'll hook it up and play it. I'm going to plug it in and capture my game footage, make sure I get all that done before I try to take it out, because I'm afraid that this thing's gonna fall apart again. <laughs> so again, I don't have, so far, going into this i don't have the greatest opinion of this product but i thought it'd be fun to take a look at it make a video about it and uh we'll see how this one see how this one fares so let's uh let's take it out of the box and let's give it a play and there we go there's the box the legends flashback blast uh apparently this somehow came from QVC. I'm sure he didn't buy it from QVC. This must have been, I don't know, Gabriel Brothers or something like that. Um, and apparently this version comes with an exclusive Space Invaders keychain, which I'm actually probably more excited about that than I am for the, uh, the, the rest of the console. <laughs> I think that's pretty neat. So we got 12 built-in games, uh, HDMI dongle, um, also featuring Burger Time, and I do love Burger Time. I'm curious what version this is. I'm pretty sure Space Invaders and a couple of the other games are the Atari 2600 version, but I'm not sure about Burger Time, so we will see. So what do we got here? 2.4 gig wireless controller, 
HDMI 1080i, which is interesting, um, save and resume games, and rewind. So it has some special features. Didn't even get to try those out if that was available on the Pong 1 because, like I said, it, uh, <laughs> it broke apart. We got a Burger Chef here. Okay, so let's look at the side. We got rewind. Rewind your game as you try to beat that tough boss as many times as you want. Easy to set up. Plug the dongle into available HDMI port. Power the dongle with the included micro... Ooh, well, this is kind of old, I guess. Micro USB is to be expected. Connect the cable to a USB port or a USB-AC adapter not included, of course, because nothing comes with that anymore. Set your TV to the selected HDMI port. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know that, and connect the wireless controller, and have a blast! You see that? Uh, let's go ahead and look at the other side here. No wires! Oh my god, we really do live in the future. Included uh, 2.4 gigahertz wireless controller gives you the range and peak performance you crave! Man, I need a job writing these things. With up to 150 hours of battery life. That's pretty good. Um, plugs right into your TV. Superb 1080i. <laughs> Visuals. I, it's been a while since I've seen something advertised as 1080i. Uh, uh, classic sound look better than ever. Save and load. So they're showing... That is the arcade version, I believe, right? Uh, that's definitely not the Atari version. That's too many invaders. So I'm almost positive this has the Atari version of that on it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the back. Uh, timeless gameplay. Wireless HD on a big screen. Pick up and play. You're sure to have a blast! So we got under 12 games, Burger Time, Burnin' Rubber, Escape It, Frontline, Jungle Hunt, Lock and Chase, Miss It, Polaris, Shield Shifter, Space Invader, Space Raid, and Strip Off. I don't know some of those. I don't know what Strip Off is, especially. Is that a like a strip poker game? I don't know. So we got our pictures of some of the games. Cool. Look at the bottom here. Uh, package includes dongle, wireless controller, micro USB power cable, instruction manual, two stickers. Mm, all right, and the keychain. So, I think I'm more excited about those stickers and keychain. But uh, all right, the versions of Space Invaders, Jungle Hunt, Frontline, and Polaris included in the Flashback Blaster, based on those created for the Atari 2600, and therefore made different appearance and performance from the original arcade editions. Okay. So, but it only mentions those few games, so I wonder, maybe the rest will actually be arcade ROMs. Maybe we'll get the arcade uh, burger time. That'll be cool to see. So, yeah, there we go. That's the box. Let's get inside of it. All right, let's see what we got in here first. So we have instructions, black and white, okay. Four more of the classic world. Let's see, does it have my Pong one? Uh, yeah, so I had this one for like 10 minutes <laughs> before it blew up. So there's all the different ones. This is this one here, this is the one that all the controversy was about. <laughs> Uh, maybe the other ones, I don't know. I just remember specifically the Pac-Man one. And then we get some instructions. So, alright. Ooh, is this, is this our stickers? Yes, we get two uh, Space Invader stickers. That's actually cool. I will make sure to put those on my wall. I'm excited and happy about those. And then we have our little stick here. Um, the blast. Power. Oh, it's, I mean, that's cool. The, the vent, like, uh, spells out at games. Yeah, so, like, when I had this before and I went to move it, I tried to pull this out, and this just, like, <laughs> fell apart. <laughs> so, hoping they fixed that, or this was a weird problem with the one I had, but there's the actual console. And then we have the controller. Um, you know what? It doesn't feel that bad. It feels, 
I don't, I'm not crazy about this D-pad. <laughs> What's going on here? Doesn't feel very good. But I believe this is like the same uh, design they had for the At Games uh, Genesis that I had. It, it doesn't feel the worst. It really doesn't. Uh, the D-pad is probably the worst part. But the buttons don't feel too bad. Could be a lot worse. I kind of like the orange and the white. I think that's kind of cool. And it, what does it take? Two AAA batteries. So, yeah, not the worst. But look at that. Just, I don't like that D-pad, but it is what it is. And then, I think the only other thing we have in the box here is the USB cable for power. So, let's make sure. Oh wait, no. How could I be such a fool? The best part is yet to come. Oh. Okay. The exclusive Space Invaders Blast keychain, which is, I didn't realize it was gonna be see-through. So it's kind of weird because it's see-through, but it also still has the Taito copyright information, so you can see that um, like through the Space Invader. <laughs> but all right, I'm happy to have that. I, I will actually use that. I, is that what it look like on the picture? See, by the picture, it looks like it would be like blue, but it's clear, which is fine. I just think the, the inclusion of that uh, copyright information is kind of weird. But <laughs> if nothing else, we got a sweet keychain and some cool stickers. So let's go ahead and get this hooked up and let's see how it plays. All right, here we are, loaded up. So yeah, we got Space Invaders, Lock and Chase. Not sure what miss it is. Burger Time, Burning Rubber, I'm not familiar with. Uh, Polaris is one I've had recommended to me, but I'm, I don't know that I've played it. Shield Shifter, I don't know. Escape It, I don't know. Frontline. Space Raid, Strip Off, I'm curious to see what that is, I really am, and Jungle Hunt, I know it's an all-time classic. Not one I grew up with, but uh, one that people keep recommending for my series on Atari games that are still fun to play. So let's go ahead and let's, let's check out the old classic Space Invaders. Um, as for the menu, I mean, it's all right, pretty simple, nothing special, nothing offensive. Oh, wait a second. This is the version they showed on the bot. This isn't, this isn't the 2600 version. I don't, I'm kind of confused as to what version this actually is. If anyone knows, uh, please let me know. Oh God. Not bad. Uh, there's some kind of, I don't know, like the, the graphics look kind of smeary. I don't know, there's some kind of um, like filter or something on it. I'm not sure. Let's see if we can get the last two. Come on. All right, we did a round. All right, this is not bad. I can see myself playing this. I'm a little confused as to... Wait. Okay, so that's a pause. Wait, how do I unpause it? Let me, let me, let me look at the manual real quick here. Wait. Where's that box? Hold on a second. It says, based on those created for the Atari 2600, but not the 2600 version. Very interesting. I wonder what that's actually like running on. I mean, I'm trying to find out what the buttons are. C is game select. It doesn't seem to do anything on this. So I'm very confused. So I will give them that this does look like the version that is advertised on the box. Interesting. So how do we go back to the menu? There's a menu button. So Jungle Hunt also says it's based on the Atari version. All right, plays fine. 
I'm not really familiar with this game as I should be. Like I said, I, a lot of people keep recommending it to me. Let me know, is this just the 2600 version? Or is this a little bit different? Oh, wait, what do I do here? Do I just avoid things or? Okay, so I have an oxygen. Am I supposed to try to kill these things? Because something seems to happen when I push the button. Oh my god. I don't know if I'm supposed to try to kill them or if I'm just trying to survive. Oh, no, I guess just survive. Oh, and then I immediately die from a boulder. Oh, okay. I'm not doing well. Okay. Oh, why? I don't... Do I just jump? I think I just... Oh, my God. So I must just jump up. Okay. Farg! Okay, so cool. Jungle Hut. I can see the appeal. That was fun. Uh, so let's go back to... Oh, menu... Lock and chase. So is this not the 2600 version? Uh, another game that I'm not like terribly familiar with. Looks like a Pac-Man clone. Oh, I don't know what I just did. Is that it? Oh my God, I just trapped myself in. I, I, I didn't know what the button did. All right, let's see. I'm thinking maybe that's to trap people. Oh, I don't have any more. Yeah. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> yeah, I dropped myself in there. All right, that's pretty cool. I don't mind that. All right, let's see. What version of Burger Time is it? Okay, so it didn't specify, that's what I don't understand, is it only specified those certain games as being like, you know, specifically not the, um, oh my god, that was a loud noise, uh, the 2600 version. But this is definitely not the arcade version of Burger Time, <laughs> so I just think it's, that game is just so weird and sh shady. I do love Burger Time. I don't know if I've ever played a burger a version of Burger Time that I didn't enjoy playing, but I mean, this isn't bad. I just don't understand why it's not the arcade version. <clears throat> kind of a slower moving version of Burger Time here, huh? I was just playing uh, like Burger Time Deluxe, I think it is, whatever one's on the Game Boy that's on the Switch Online. Service is fun because I had never played that version before. I had a good time with it. Let's see if I can I can beat a stage here. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Oh, okay. No, no, I I messed up. That's okay. All right, let's go ahead and go back. We got it. Miss It. Which I don't know what this is. Whoa, wait, what is this? What? What the heck is it? Am I supposed to avoid that? I guess it is called Miss It. What is this? Yeah.
Graphics are kind of doing weird things. I don't know if that's going to show up in the recording, but there's like a lot of weird anomalies happening on my screen. So I have never, has anyone ever heard of this game? <laughs> what, where is this from? What, was this on a console? Or is this just something that they've put in to pad the game list? I mean, I guess it's all right. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. Go back to that. What it? See, I I feel like it kind of looks like they tried to emulate the Atari like silver box, but it's not what that is. I don't understand. It just has the regular Burger Time like poster, but. Like, I don't know, you would think, I was really hoping that it was going to be the arcade version of Burger Time, and that's not the arcade version of Burger Time. I don't think I've ever played Burning Rubber, either. Burning Rubber. Um, wait, is this... Isn't this bump and jump? Wait, can I knock cars? Oh, so is there a jump coming? Oh, and I missed it. Okay, so this is bump and jump, right? <laughs> uh, at least I know this is bump and jump. So when do I push? Well, I don't understand when I push jump. Okay, wait. All right, too early. <laughs> All right, I'm not, not good at that. Oh, wait. So it has... Wait, player two. How do I switch? Wait. Mono. Wait. I don't remember all the buttons do, so I'm just pushing buttons. How do I change player one settings? Mono. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Make it to the jump. Ah, we made a jump! We did it! Bump you into a fiery death. Bump. This is fun. Yeah. Look at that. This is fun. I like this. It's got music. I don't really understand where these what these ROMs are, I will say. Like I don't get what versions of the games I'm actually playing. If anyone can uh, enlighten me, please let me know. Yeah, I pushed it too early. All right. So that's cool. So this is a uh, Atari game, right? Atari version. So I can... Wait, what was that button I was... Nope. Nope. I can only do player one and player... Or player two... Oh, wait, there's... Oh, how many players? Oh, okay, so there's my controls for... Okay. Okay. Um...
So this is this is an Atari 2600 game. Oh my god! I just I guess I just wish it was more transparent what exactly you were getting. I'll have to check. Was this one? Of, oh my god! Uh, that's a that looks fun. I'll try that more later. Hold on, I'm gonna look at this box again. Yeah, Polaris, based on the 2600 version. Jungle Hunt. Let's look at Frontline, because that's supposed to be Atari version. I mean, it looks like the graphic there on the bottom looks like Atari graphics, so. Taito! Okay. I've never played this game either. <laughs> oh, okay. My little, little dude graphics aren't bad for the 2600. This is actually indicative of the 2600 version. Seems like maybe they're taking 2600 version and like messing with them for some games. I don't know. L let me know. I'm no expert. I just know that that version of Space Invaders does not seem to be the version of Space Invaders that I have on my 2600. Yeah. Wait, did I get shot? <laughs> No! Okay. Alright. Um. Escape it. Is this another one of those weird, not really game games? Escape it. Okay. Wait. What's going on? What is happening? Where am I trying to go to? What is happening? All right, that's enough of that. I don't, I don't, I don't understand. All right. Shield shifter. What's that say? Good deal games? I don't... So this looks like a 2600 game. Is this a... What is this? I have never heard of this. Are there like, I mean, I'll do some research, I guess, after I'm done checking out all the games. Did they just like make fake games to put on this? Or are these like weird, like homebrew games that they included? Or is this an actual uh, Atari release? I have no idea. I'm assuming I'm supposed to try to kill whatever the heck that thing is on the top. Not quite a yar. No, oh, just die. I kill this thing. Wait, did I die? I died. I died again. There, I killed you. Okay, I mean it's it's all right. It's okay. It's my disdain for this device is going. I, at first. The, the, that version of Space Invaders, even though I'm not sure what it is, it's Space Invaders, it's fun. But the longer I... And, and I don't know. I'm not a big fan of this thing. 
I've decided again all these years later. <laughs> oh, what are they doing? Why? Who? Who made these decisions? All right. I just tried that. Uh, space raid. Collector Vision games. Okay. So this is like a, a homebrew, right? What am I... Oh, I can go up and down. We have to do some research and find out what exactly these games are. Wait a second. How do I... Oh, wait, so I haven't tried this yet, so we can, we can rewind. Wait, how do I, I don't understand how I do it. Do I, ah, stop it! Wait. And how do I, okay. Okay, well, that's there. And then, wait, hold on, how do I... And then you can save... Yes. Said yes. Okay, it, it 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 froze. I'll say okay. That's even the system's broken. It doesn't work right. <laughs> I guess it saved, but it didn't update, and I had to go back, and then it told me that it saved. Very bad. So what's the last one? Strip off. This is like another like not official game, I assume. This is what I just don't understand. So even the I mean, so there are 12 games on here But when you bought this thing, I mean, there's no reason for you to not believe at least it, like um, At your initial glance that you're gonna be getting a bunch of Well, honestly looking at it, I would assume that you would think you're getting a bunch of arcade games but even if they were all just like Atari versions of you know, known games. That's not what this is. Now, I mean, I think it is cool to play some of these games that maybe I've never heard of before. Um, but I think it's incredibly dishonest for them to like put a put some 2600 ports and um, like a bunch of games that no one's ever heard of and just advertise it as having Space Invaders and Burger Time. Burger Time being the 2600 version. And um, I don't know. It just, it leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Uh, I think it's very sleazy. So, I mean, that's, I think we've, we've now gone through all the games. Um, I don't know. Let me, let me know what you think, guys. Uh, I think this is, this, this is a very sleazy product. Uh, like I said, that version of Space Invaders... Let me see if real quick, while I'm recording here, if I can look up what version of a space and like what is what this is exactly. So apparently, they, they this version of Space Invaders is something like written especially for at games, uh, products. Uh, weird. And I did look up like these games that I don't know what they are. They're like, yeah, weird like homebrews. Um, and they just. They're not very good. <laughs> so, I mean, I think it's very, very scummy that, I mean, reading the box, because it doesn't mention, does it mention Burger Time? No, so it only specifically says that the versions of Space Invaders, Jungle Hunt, Frontline, and Polaris included are based on the versions created for the 2600. And then the Space Invaders version is not even the one for the 2600. And it doesn't mention Burger Time. And this is the version for the 2600. So, like, what the, what the heck there, man? Yeah, I, uh, I mean, thank you, Nick. Um, I got, you know, some content out of this, but good golly, Miss Molly, and I, I, I have, am happy about the stickers and the keychain, but what a scummy product! Oh my gosh! Like, I know, like, when I used to have the. Um, 
the at games genesis it was real scummy because it advertised it had so many games and only like half of those games were actually genesis games and the other ones were like bad like chinese shovelware um and i always thought that was crappy but i still kind of i mean i know that product gets a lot of crap but i had fun with it because i didn't have anything to, else to play genesis games with at the time and that console is actually how i fell in love with um fatal labyrinth which is like one of my favorite genesis games now but how scummy oh my gosh i mean i guess i mean the coolest thing i guess for me is having that version like a different weird version of space invaders because i already own the cartridge for the 2600 version so i didn't need another version but just what a weird scummy product oh i was facing the wrong way um it's cool i don't own uh, jungle hunt so now I can play some of that, see what all the fuss is about. I'm excited about, you know, finally be able to give that a, a, a look at. And but like, there's like a filter on the games that are, uh, ugh. I'm gonna have to ask him how much he paid for this. Hopefully it was like $1.99 or maybe just 99 cents. What is this? I mean, Again, I'm glad I got a video out of it, and I'm glad I took a look at it. I don't even think I got to get this in-depth in with the Pong when I had. I think I played like a round or two of Pong, tried to switch it over, and it disintegrated. It's cool. Um, I never played uh, Bump and Jump on the Atari, so, I mean, that's also cool. Something I have to mess around with. I don't know how much I'm actually going to play this. I'll probably just go get the actual carts. <laughs> But it is, uh, it is what, I just can't believe, like, why wouldn't you put, like, the Atari artwork there or something if it's the Atari version? Um, I like the Atari version, but I, there's, I don't see any reason why they couldn't have easily put the arcade version of Burger Time on here. So, like, what the heck? Anyway, I'm just rambling on. I think I'm just making myself more angry <laughs> as I keep going and, uh, 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 this 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 has gone on far too long as it is. So let me know what you guys think. Did you guys ever buy one of these at Bla at, at Games Blasts? Um, did it leave a sour taste in your mouth, like the sour taste that I have in mine? Did any of yours disintegrate? Let me know what you think. I know At Games is a very not popular company in the community, and it's easy to see why. But like I said, I do have some nostalgia for the uh, old At Games. Uh, Genesis that I got at the dollar store. Uh, again, that's how I discovered Fatal Labyrinth. And that's one of my favorite games now. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Oh, God, I'm, I'm doing pretty well at this miss it. Look at that. I'm a rock star. Ah, okay. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. And I will see you next time. Bye.